This level's called the PET Rescue. Now, I don't know what they mean as for the acronym. I'm going to guess something like Personal Emergency Transport. That'd be my guess. But the last time I heard PET as an acronym was when I was playing Mega Man Network Battle, Battle Network. As in whatever that was. It's basically the uh, thing that is the is the device that contains the software for your navigator slash robot digital website internet buddy that goes and fights the viruses in on the internet. Uh, yeah. How did that work out for you, by the way? I heard about that network collection. I wonder if the Mega Man Battle Network collection comes with that, uh, re... Like, I want to say remaster, but it's more like a re... like... It's like... It's like the first Mega Man Battle Network, but it's got, like, a lot more content that was available in the DS version. And I kind of want to try that one in particular, just to see how that goes. Because it sounds like it'd be fun. Why is this level so chill? It's so chill, you guys. The way I put them all together like that. Oh! Uh-huh. Oh, get my ass blasted. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Oh, sure, the levels are going to feel short for a while, but just you wait. We'll get some long ass levels. I feel like the. We'll, we'll get a few longish levels and some mildly long, but not really that long, bordering on 20 minutes levels. But no, we got a couple of those 30 minute levels. Which is appropriate because I noticed whenever I have a long level, it tends to be towards the end of like a part where we have an intermission. So it, it feels like it feels like what's considered to me as like a boss level, although not quite. But I I can see why it's placed that way where it is in the lineup. I don't quite know how noise compilations are handled, but I know this one isn't a straight compilation. When I do stuff like H2X -X Xmas or Memento Mori, or Community Chest, or those kinds of likes things. Or like when there's like a Doom map jam where they make a lot of maps together and see who wins. Uh, like, I know the difficulties for that is just gonna be schizophrenic, and you know what, I'm okay with that. Like, you can make levels as easy or hard as you want, and, I'll, and I won't necessarily be bothered. I'll probably criticize you, but I'll still play it. You know, I'll play your shit. I like playing your stupid shit. That's why I exist. I exist on this planet to troll through all the stuff you made without you remem remembering it. And boy, is there a lot of shit you made without remembering it. I still don't know who developed Space Chase. I still don't know anyone who developed, like, Gate World. You ever hear of Gate World? It's absolute trash, but I'm gonna play it one day, and you're gonna see it, and you're gonna be like, what the fuck is this? And I'll be like, it's a game. I cannot wait to do all this dumb shit. Uh, so yeah, uh, I guess, um, I think I've decided the next first person shooter thing I'm going to do is, uh, more of Quake 1, because there's a second mission pack, I've got to do that. Eventually I'm going to hit on Shadow Warrior. I've been playing that for a while, and, uh, it's just the last time I attempted to do it, the game crashed on me, and I didn't figure out why, and... I think maybe I just got unlucky, so, you know, I just re-verified everything, and we'll see how that works out. Plus, I have it on Steam anyway, so I can cross-reference. It's just that that one doesn't come with, like, when you get it off of Steam, I don't know if it's, like, ISO-like in that way. I mean, maybe the classic one is, but I don't think it refers to the disc. I think it's just the installed files or something. I'm not quite sure how that DOS... I don't know how Steam's DOS box games works when it comes to CD-ROM integration when it comes to Redbook Audio. I'm not sure if they're doing that right. So I've just been resolved to use their... Uh, their, like, um, source ported version. Although, the source port I would use for build engine games now is uh, Raze, which is similar to GZ Doom. For testing, obviously. I wouldn't actually do it as serious single-player play unless it was a really, like, involved mod. Like, there's a lot of good gz Doom mods that are specifically designed for gz Doom that'll defend the right to exist, but when it comes to default assets, you know, I try to stay 
as close as the original experience as I can. At least so it makes sense and in a fair and reasonable way. Thank you, Gary Goosen. Also, the intermissions don't change, but I thought I'd show them off anyway. There's nothing... T there's nothing to learn about these. But yeah, I, I know someone who, uh... Who made a dehack thing and kind of invented their own intermission screens for that. So that's kind of unofficial in the same way I see, like, unofficial music packs. Flupatonia and... And TNT Evolution, incidentally. So it's... Yeah, it wasn't enough for TNT Evolution to have their own music because they kept using repeat music. It's like, yeah, we'll just make your own custom version of it. It's like... Mm. I understood it for Plutonia, though, because Plutonia was just combining Doom 1 and Doom 2 music, and you're like, yeah, I can understand you doing that. But, um... Whatever you want, you can have what I make. You can pretend that I wasn't a fake.